Before we go any further, we want to talk about the default settings that the Django REST framework has. And these settings are going to help us decide what to do on any given view or, well, pretty much anything else with in relation to the settings, but definitely preventing ourselves from repeating ourselves too much. And if you went through the views, you would see that there's certain classes that we actually did repeat a lot. So we want to actually go through the settings so we can change those things and adapt them as we see fit. Now in the API guide, so if you go to API guide settings, you'll see this REST framework settings. So we're going to go ahead and copy this and put it into our settings.py at the very bottom. This is where I'm going to put it. So this is how you actually do your REST framework settings. Now the first one that if you scroll down a little bit, we have the very first one is default renderer classes is what we see right there. So if I paste that in, right in that key value pair, I can actually go off of what the defaults are. Right now I over, I actually override the default settings by just explicitly writing this out. If I didn't have these settings, it goes to what the default is. But since now that I have this, let's go ahead and take a look at our API now. And I refresh in this post list, looks a lot different. So this is actually no longer the quote unquote browsable API. It is now just JSON renderer. So that's kind of cool. If I want that browsable API back, I can just add it into the settings. Now this is something that's pretty important because do you want the Django REST framework to show up on your site? Well, probably not. I mean, a Django REST framework is awesome. It's really cool. I like it a lot but you're probably going to want to have um, your own renderer of this stuff or you could you can technically change the templates for the Django REST framework which is not something we're going to cover but you could change the templates to make this look like your own branded site and it is using bootstrap 3 which is something we use all the time so it's not like it's the worst thing if you just change this from Django REST framework but these renderers are going to be what's going to do that so if we go down, we have the default parsing classes. Um, these I'm gonna leave as is. So I'm actually gonna get rid of that setting. Let's go down another one, default authentication classes. This one's actually really good for us. So let's go ahead and put this in. This is gonna be very important once we implement a new authentication class. So we're gonna go ahead and put these defaults in there, which is session authentication and basic authentication. Now. Uh, basic authentication, I would not recommend doing. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Session authentication has to do with the Django session, right? So when we created this in our other project, we did post, or excuse me, if we did login, this actually logs in a session user. And that's what we've been doing so far. When we submitted our comments and stuff in our API, we have been using the session user, which is sh shown up here. Right? So that's actually how we've been doing it. So there's another method as to what we want to do here, but that we'll come back to. And then default permission classes. This is something else that we're also going to want to adjust. And we're actually going to adjust that in this video in just a moment. And then we'll put the default, which was allow any. So that's the default that comes through with it. Um, and then we could go through and do default pagination serialer cla serializer class. Um, it looks like this setting has been removed. So it's gonna be on a per view basis for the pagination stuff, um, which is fine. That's just one of those things that you have to know about. So all the generic view things are related to that. Search param. Um, so there's a lot of things that you could go through here and just kind of test on your own. But the main ones for us was permission and authentication and then the renderer class. Um, these right here, we actually wanna wrap into quotes as well all right so now that we've got that out of the way we're going to come back to this authentication we want to talk about this permissions right now so let's go ahead and jump into our comments api and we're going to look in the views and we're just going to scroll through here permission class is authenticated permission class is authenticated or read only is owner or read only and then and then so on right so uh, this one doesn't have a permission class but we could, we could adjust this and then also the views on how we wanna see it. So permission class is authenticated, is authenticated or read only, and so on, right? So we see is authenticated or read only quite a few times. So that's gonna be my default going forward. So going back into my settings, I'm gonna do permissions, is authenticated or read only. That is now our default permission class. That means that in all of my views that I want uh, to have 
authenticated. I can now get rid of this. So is authenticated or read only. This There's probably not gonna be a read only in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and comment that out. And then this one down here, comment detail API view, is authenticated or read only. I can go ahead and get rid of that. I'll just leave is owner or read only. Going down to the list view, we now need a new permission class. So permission classes for this list view specifically. And we're gonna say, allow any, All right? So that was the default before we just changed it to that. So we actually have to change the permission classes that we want, allow any. So the allow any part with my API in particular, I wanna make sure that the majority of it is authenticated required or authentication required and I'll select which ones do not require authentication. So if you think about this in terms of views or standard Django views, we wanna use the decorator of login required. We want, we're basically saying all of our views are gonna have login requires. In this case, all of our um, actual API views are gonna have um, login required or authentication required, or it's gonna be read only. All right, so now that we've got it, it looks like we have it completed in here. Comment create view, I already did that one. So comments are done. So let's go back into posts and we see is authenticated. I can get rid of that. Post detail API view, this should be allow any. And again, allow any is actually imported. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in that permission class of allow any. Oh, update API view, we can get rid of is authenticated or read only. You can just leave is owner or read only. And then again, uh, delete view, get rid of that. Post list API view, we wanna do allow any. And that's it. So that should handle those things. And now finally, our accounts API views. We're gonna come in here, uh, user create API view. Well, creating a user should be allow any, right? So we're gonna bring that in. So they don't actually have to be authenticated to create the user. And then user login, again, allow any. We already actually added that in, that's good. Um, so that's it, we've got a lot of create user, a, a login, and now everything else should work as expected for the actual API. Um, so let's go ahead and run the server again. And we see that the list API view is in here. If I copy this and paste it, Notice the list API view is still coming through. If I hit comments, I'm still seeing it, right? It's still allowing me to see this versus if I was authenticated and clicked on one of the comments, I could actually update or change this comment uh, because I am an authenticated user and then it would um, prevent it if the user was not the object owner, of course. Cool, so um, that's it for the setting stuff. And now, since we have this basic and session authentication, we now need to talk about the new authentication stuff that we're gonna be doing by using a third party uh, library called Jot. Um, that is Django REST Framework Jot. So we'll talk about that in the next one. And thanks for watching.